Hey guys, Adrian with Nova Props here. Just wanted to post a quick video to show you how easy it is to put together one of our Volume 2 Star-Lord buckles. Uh, it comes with the buckle itself, which is a cold cast resin, and it comes with a metal buckle back that fits pretty much any belt. So I'm going to show you how to polish it, how to detail it, and then how to attach the buckle to the back, and you're ready to go. So when you get the buckle, I'm actually going to include just a little bit of this 4-0 steel wool. It's super fine. And what's great about our buckle is that it is called cold cast, which means there's actually metal powder mixed into the buckle itself. Uh, so you don't have to paint it, you don't have to clear coat it, you don't have to do anything to it once you get it polished up. And as you can see here, it's pretty dull right now. Uh, but we're gonna fix that with just a little bit of steel wool. Uh, we've got this pretty smooth so you don't actually need to sand it. I know in our belt tutorial on YouTube if you've watched that we talk about using sandpaper and then steel wool but this buckle is so smooth you only really need steel wool. So as you can see it looks just kind of like gray flat plastic right now but with just a little bit of polishing hopefully that shows on camera there you can start to see the metal shine through and you can just see didn't do a lot of pressure didn't do a lot of uh, effort and you immediately start to see that finish now it's important to know that this is a very thin layer of metal powder under the plastic if you polish this too much you will actually wear through the metal layer to the plastic and you'll know you've done that if the plastic goes from looking like metal to looking just like gray plastic. And if you've done that, unfortunately, there's nothing you really can do about it to bring that metal back. Um, you can replace it, you can paint over it, uh, but this is just kind of just to show you how easy it is. I mean, I've been doing this for about 15 seconds while I talk to you, and it is polished. It's pretty remarkable stuff. We really like doing cold cast stuff. We also do this with our rocket buttons. Here, I'll show you one of those real quick. Same thing, plastic, just a little bit of polish. And it's metal. Really easy, quick to do, you're ready to go. So once this is all polished up, and I'll, I would go around the edges too, and bring some of the metal out there. Be careful when you're doing this that you don't focus too hard on the edges. You do want to have them shine up a little bit, but if you do it too much, you'll again wear through that metal layer, and it'll just look like gray plastic on the edges. So just take it easy. It doesn't take a lot of effort, and you get that polish pretty quickly. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, the next thing that I like to do is I want to add a little bit of black to the middle. Uh, in doing so, it just makes that line look like a real seam in the metal belt buckle. So to do that, I use a flat black acrylic paint. Now this is Angelus leather paint. Great stuff if you've never heard of Angelus. Uh, you can buy so many different colors. It's really great acrylic paint. It works in airbrushes, works on brushes. Um, excellent, I can't recommend enough. Comes in metallics too if you're into painting things in metallic. So what I'm gonna do, just get rid of this because I don't want any of the dust in the paint. Shake that up. And I use a fine tip brush like this one. I just take it you know it always you always have a few seconds for it to dry so if you go outside of the line you can wipe it off and I just go right down the line it doesn't take a lot I need a little more in 
there. Then I will just take a damp paper towel, just a paper towel, spray a little water. And I don't want to dig the paper towel down into it. I just want to get it off the edges so that you don't see it outside of there. That's all there is to that. And, and you know, that, that's just a single layer of paint. It'll dry in a few minutes uh, and it's ready to go. If you want, you can also do a wash. Um, you know, you water down some of this paint, maybe get a thicker brush. You can get down into the crevices, you know, the parts of the, parts of the buckle where dirt would accumulate. I don't particularly tend to do that. I like how, how shiny this one is and it's so smooth and flat, it's hard to imagine that a lot of grime can accumulate in these tiny little edges. But if you want to do that, give it a little life, give it a little weathering, go right ahead. It's just a simple wash and then wipe it away uh, with a damp paper towel. The last part we need to do is to attach the metal buckle back to this so that you can wear it. And this buckle back is two pieces. We get these from uh, Tandy Leather, and they uh, they offer all kinds of leather supplies. It's a great place. So it's two pieces. This piece gets glued down. This piece fits underneath it so that it can you can attach the buckle. This is what we include with our belt kit as well, uh, and it fits on our belt. I think this will fit just about any size belt up to about one and three quarter inches or so. So if you don't want to use an actual Star Lord belt like ours, you could just do it on a regular belt. So. To attach this, I use, rather than super glue or contact cement, what I have found the best for this kind of thing that's gonna be under stress, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna be pulling on it as you're wearing it, just your bait, your waist and your breathing. I found that a five minute epoxy is the strongest type of stuff you can use uh, that will hold it. I've worn my belt to many cons. It's never come undone, uh, never broken off or anything like that. This is the best stuff. Uh, I buy this two-part bottle because it's I use it a lot. Uh, they have smaller versions available that is like a, a dual plunger. You squeeze it out and it comes out in equal parts. Uh, but this stuff's really easy to use. Uh, you squeeze out two bits, equal amounts. And I just kind of eyeball it, make the same size glob of each kind. This looks like it's more than I need, but that's okay. Popsicle stick, just mix them together. Now, if you want to, before you place the buckle, if you want to put it on there and trace where you want to place the buckle to help guide yourself, you can do that. I've put together I don't even know, hundreds of these buckles, so I'm pretty good at eyeballing it at this point. Um, you also have some time to move it around to recenter it if you need to, so it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't need to worry about putting it down and immediately having it stuck in place. So what I'll do, take a little of this, just kind of scoop it on, and you don't have to be stingy with this stuff. If it squeezes out, if it globs out a little bit that's okay it actually kind of helps because I feel like you're almost kind of coating the space with the glue I'm stripped a little like that. So we flip it over make sure that's in place and then I just center the hole in the middle of the buckle with the center line of the buckle itself press it down And I'll add just a little more because like I said it doesn't hurt to have a little extra kind of helps to grip it down into place so that it doesn't go anywhere that's it leave it about five minutes or so five minute epoxy it takes about five minutes to cure you'll know it's cured because you can touch it and it'll just feel rock hard <laughs> and you're ready to go um, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this uh, this gets you excited about maybe using our buckle. 
We love making these. They've been very popular. People seem to be satisfied with them. They're really easy to put together. As you can see, they're really easy to finish up and polish up. Uh, if you want to go really nuts, you can even, after you've polished it with steel wool, you can polish it with like an aluminum paste like you use for, for wheels or for uh, anything metallic. And you can actually get it really shiny. Uh, again, just don't overdo it because you can weather through the middle. That's it. Flip it over one more time so you guys can see. And this is Adrian from Nova Props. Thanks, you guys.